Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I'm at Miracle Farms, which is my girlfriend's family's permaculture orchard that they have here in southern Quebec. And the main reason I'm here is because there's an awesome bird outside. It's a tufted titmouse. And although I can drive south of the border and see plenty of them, here in Quebec they just barely peek into the range. So it could be a really tricky bird to see otherwise. But right now, I think starting this summer, they started seeing a couple and hearing a few. And now there's around at least three individuals that are coming pretty regularly. And I've seen them so far every time I've come here for the last few weeks. So I really wanted to come here and get my first photos of the species in Quebec. What I did is I walked around the farm and I found a few trees that were pruned and I took some branches, stuck them in the ground. This is the wind blowing right now. Yeah, we're in the middle of a snowstorm by the way here. It's like full alert. It was raining really hard this morning and uh, now it's starting to turn into snow luckily. I don't really want to photograph in the rain. It's not as nice as photographing in the snow. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty bad day to be a bird. But anyways, I walked around the farm, I took some branches, stuck them in the ground, found a suet feeder, found a seed feeder, and put them out. And the birds are really enjoying the setup. Like I said, it is a snowstorm outside, so they are in full eating mode right now. I counted at least 40 goldfinches and then all your regular chickadees, nuthatches, uh, two types of woodpeckers. So there are birds coming here already, which is nice. I set this up yesterday afternoon. Um, man, this wind just keeps going. Not a bad way to spend the day during a snowstorm, so I'll take it. Stay tuned. Alright, so I've been shooting for about half an hour now and one thing that I didn't factor in when I did this whole setup yesterday was yesterday was completely clear and I knew that there'd be snow today but I didn't know that there'd be this much blowing snow so ideally what I wanted was darker backgrounds and this whole farm is surrounded by conifers so right now my backgrounds are conifers but with so much blowing snow and since they're so far away it's just completely white out and I'm not really getting any snowflakes in the shots. So I'm really limited to where I can shoot right now. It's pretty much to the left of me. I have dark enough backgrounds so I can see that snow. It's just a personal preference. You don't have to use a dark background if you don't want to see the snow. But for now, I really wanted to get this snow since there's so much of it. So that's what I'm kind of struggling with now. I can go out and fix it, but I don't see the point. I'm getting enough opportunities on the left side at least to get some decent photos. Yeah, I did not expect it to be this windy. The birds are getting absolutely tossed around. There was a song sparrow that showed up, which uh, isn't a rare bird here at all, but it's kind of hard to see them in the winter sometimes. So there's a song sparrow here. He was getting blown around from the wind. You can hear it right now. Yeah, he was getting tossed around from the wind. A few juncos too are like kind of getting pushed with the wind. So it's kind of funny to see, but at the same time they have to live through that and that's pretty intense. So the Tufted Titmouse also showed up quite a few times and I feel like I'm having one of those Ecuador moments. Uh, when I made my video about the red-headed barbets, I mentioned how, you know, they were at a feeder and I couldn't get a good shot of them the entire time. Like anytime they would come down to the feeder, there'd be a branch or something in the way. And I feel like with these titmice, it's kind of the same uh, issue. They're there. They're really close, but there's a lot of shooting through branches and their backs are always to me, so that's what I'm dealing with now. So one bird that I've actually been having fun photographing is the European starlings. I didn't think they would come to these feeders, but they're coming and uh, they're an invasive species from Europe. Uh, although they're not really welcomed here in North America, 
They are very, very beautiful birds, especially in the snow. It's just bright and it lights them up. So a uh, really gorgeous bird. So I've been taking a lot of photos of them. As you might be able to see from the blind, the wind is still really strong, but what's happening is it's kind of just blanketing everything. And even when I get a dark background, what's happening is there's not those nice snowflakes that you usually see when it's not as windy. So what I'm thinking is since I'm not really getting any photos anymore with uh, that nice snow falling in the background, I might just uh, move this chair and lay down on the ground and start getting some ground shots. I was going to do this tomorrow, but I think now is actually a pretty good time to do it. So I'll reconfigure this whole area, set up, and show you guys what I get. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 